Hi you guys welcome back to my channel this is Ogo Royalty today we are going to do this natural finish or the makeup that is suitable for people with a very dry skin and anyway you guys we're going to start by doing my hair and I think I love doing the hair on camera lately and if you're interested in knowing how all this dewy makeup finish came about then let's hop right into this makeup tutorial today we're going to do a get ready with me type of makeup tutorial and by the way you guys I'm going to start with my hair i'm going to show you how i take care of my hair or how i do my high puff that you always see me having every day this is particular what i do every day and by the way you guys i think before i could even go any far i need to put on my spectacles because your sister is blind as a bed so i'm going to try and do this hair i'm just going to remove my bonnet and as you can see you guys this hair is dry i washed it yesterday so in a minute which i wash my hair I don't actually do a lot when washing this hair so in this spray bottle it is just purely water that is why i removed the cover of the product that was inside so i'm just going to apply this water and this is my regular special feeling gel activator and it's a moisturizing conditioner I'm going to apply just this small amount and I'm gonna grab it. I'm going to apply right at the tip of my hair, not going to apply on the entire hair because I would like to keep the ends of my hair to be slightly curly. And anyway, you guys, in case you suspect that you have split ends, I always use this product. It's a serum for split end. And I, I will use just this small amount. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it. I'm just going to apply. And then you guys, I'm going back to my spray bottle. I'm going to apply water again. And with my fingers, I will just continue like this. Then I will go ahead and use the gel. I'm going to apply this amount. And I'm just going to apply and touch the base like this. Then you guys, with my comb, a white tooth comb or afro comb, I'm going to just lift the hair from the bottom, just lift it up a bit. I'm going to just lift the hair a bit, not going to comb it right through. This is, you guys, this is a natural hair. So by the way, you guys, if you want to retain your hair, you need to really carefully I mean, you carefully comb your hair. You don't need to comb your hair if it's a wig. And even a wig, if you're not combing it carefully, it does shed. And then with a small tooth comb, just going to lift the hairs like this. Just to ensure that when I put on my hair string, it's not going to, not to look anyway crazy. This hair string, actually, that I used a pantyhose to make it just to lift it up and make a high puff and I just ensure that my hair is not tacked under this pantyhose or the hair strain that I'm using let's place some water And you guys, my concentration is only on my puff. So because I still have a minute and a half to go, I have limited this to be about 10 minutes. I'm not going to take any more time. So as and when I do, this is what I do. If I'm going to lay my edges, this is the stage where I get to lay the edges. Otherwise, I'm not going to lay the edges and I'm not going to tie anything i don't tie anything because this gel is a maximum hold the hair will be flat and sleek if you want it to be sleek all right you guys i think what is left for now is for me to apply concealer and to really make a base for my eyeshadow application and by the way you guys in mind i had a lot of videos that i wanted to do so i'm going to do one of those videos and one that i'm going to do is one of the wearable looks easy wearable eye look so right here i have makeup brushes normally after using my scented candles i always use the holder to make my brush holder so i always try to repurpose there are about 18 brushes in total and you have almost every eyeshadow brush right here 
I think this because it's a bit bigger brush you can use it to apply your highlighter or you can use it as your concealer blending brush because it's a slightly bigger and I think of all these I love this fan brush because it is not as big like the one that I have already so I think the size of it says use me all the time we have about six face brushes and anyway you guys I know I'm used to using the more fluffier powder brushes unlike this one this one is not as fluffy as I would prefer but we're going to use all these brushes today and as you can see we have a stippling brush we have a contour brush we have a blush brush and we have a highlighter brush and then we have a foundation application brush we have every brush in this collection and i think it was selling about 350 i'm not sure if it is a regular price but i bought it from take a lot take a lot is our local online service provider whatever without wasting any more time you guys i'm going to i don't even know which foundation i'm going to use i'm going to use rimmel london and the shade is toffee and right now you guys i'm somewhat convinced that the rimmel london shade for this concealer the higher they go the darker they become so i doubted the color 80 thinking that it was the brightest than the color 70 but now i doubt how i judged and how i concluded on that concealer so i'm going to go ahead and blend this using my fingers and anyway you guys i think one of the eyeshadow palette that i'm going to touch today is going to be the eyeshadow palette in which i wanted to use for so long but i was just unable to use i don't always set my eyelids but i'm going to set my eyelids because i don't trust the pigmentation of that eyeshadow palette oh that was a lot of powder So you guys, I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette blush nude. It is from Maybelline. And anyway, I may use a transitioning shade or a few shades from this. But I would like to attempt this one on its own. I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to apply this eyeshadow. Just going to place on my inner corner. And I'm just going to apply. I think these eyeshadows, their pigment you can only find if you have set your eyelids. Which I think is a good thing. Unlike many eyeshadows, other eyeshadows, if you start by setting your eyelids, you won't get as much pigment from them as you would if you have not set. So, um, actually, I'm impressed and I'm starting to doubt the people that were saying it was not as pigmented. It was even the monitor. Can nicely pick it. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to go ahead and apply this brownish color. And anyway, you guys, this eyeshadow that I'm applying right now, it has specks of shimmers. But I think this brush is too fluffy. But let me do the same with this side so that we don't have eyes that are not looking alike. And then you guys, I'm going to go ahead and apply this eyeshadow right here. And try to diffuse the lighter one that I have applied. I think that should get risky on this eyeshadow palette. But what kind of life are we going to live if we can't take risks all the time? I'm going to take the eyeshadow creator and I'm just going to place as my transitioning shade going to do the same this size transition with creator the reason why i like creator you guys is because it looks more like my skin anyway and i think after applying this i'm going to give you my final thought on the eyeshadow palette so i'm going back to that first eyeshadow applied just going to ensure that i don't lose it on top of my eyelids just to ensure that i don't lose this eyeshadow. And then I diffuse the harsh application between my eyeshadows. And then, because I'm going to apply a liquid eyeliner, and the one I'm going to apply is a brown liquid eyeliner from Essence. And then they say it's vegan. So I'm just going to apply and I'm going to make a small wing. Nowadays, I have a tendency of really messing up my looks with my liquid eyeliner. And I'm going to apply and do the same with this side. And as always, I'm going to go ahead and use my concealer and I'm going to use a concealer brush. So I'm going to go ahead and apply and then I'm going to do the same on this side. And then guys, I'm going to use mascara and this mascara that I'm using, it is from Essence. It's a Lush Princess Hollow Mascara and the brand says it's waterproof. And then you guys, I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyelashes and these eyelashes that I'm going to apply, they are from Kiss and yes, that is sultry i'm going to just place them and anyway you guys i learned my lesson i will never use an eyelash glue that i've never used before so 
that I used to do was just not holding any of my lashes. It was just sitting there doing nothing really. I had to go to one of my trusted, which is a disco eyelash glue. And I think now I know and I'm convinced that it only takes certain brands to pull out an eyelash glue that actually works. Regardless of your eye sensitivity, so I'm going to do the same to certain place. Eyelashes on my eyelash line. And then I'm going to take this outer side of the eyelashes, place it on my outer corner. Then I'm going to place this on my inner corner. And then I'm clipping my fake lash to my natural lashes. And then you guys, I'm going to go ahead and apply Prime and Last Daily Diaries Hydrating Primer Mist. It is from Essence. I want us to actually achieve a natural finish from today's makeup look. So I realized that there are people with fine lines with which if you can apply your setting powder onto their face, you see that their fine lines, they are really reacting. Anyway, you guys... I think I came to the realization of this when I went to the store, I went to this game during the week just to get me some facial cleanser. So now as she was talking to me, I was looking at her, I noticed that she was having very very big smile lines. I think I know the reason why she has those kind of smile lines. Possibly she used a very hydrating formula of makeup and then she used a setting powder. And then the setting powder, it actually started to define the fine lines and to actually make them look exaggerated because the powder just settled onto her smile lines and then i went back home and then i thought okay what is it that someone can do that have a big smile lines how to actually do away with the smile lines if your eyeshadow creamer doesn't actually work to minimizing your smile lines so what is it that one can do and then i decided that i'm going to apply this tinted moisturizer and see what actually could happen and the result that I found from this was actually interesting, you guys. I'm going to just apply this. It's going to help me to ensure that the tinted moisturizer lasts decently. So I'm just going to keep blending like this. I'm gonna hide my nose bridge as well as my forehead, a little bit of the forehead. Not forgetting my cupid's bow. You guys, I'm going to take my face mist. It is from Nivea and it's a hydrating face mist. And you guys, I'm going to let this to settle for about a few minutes, not much, not too long. But if you are someone that has a face fan or small fan, you can just go ahead. But if you don't, you're going to use this method that I'm using right here to ensure that your concealer really stay and it doesn't disappear as you blend. And I'm going to take my beauty blender, going to just blend. This technique you can use, you guys, even if your client is old that has wrinkles, you can also use this type of makeup application. They will still look like they are old, but you will not be actually emphasizing their wrinkles. This is a natural finish that you can get from your makeup. And then, you guys, the next thing is going to take my translucent powder. And I'm going to apply just a little bit of that translucent powder and I'm going to rub it slightly on top of my hand. And I'm going to try and set. And in setting, you guys, I'm not going to set a lot. I'm just going to set slightly so that I do not crease, not that I want to have a mitified face. The finish that I'm going to achieve is going to be natural, dewy like, and comfortable for people of mature skin or for anyone that has a dry skin. And taking my setting spray again, and I'm going to just ensure that choose the amount of setting spray because I don't want it to rub off my concealer. And I'm just going to tap. That way I'm doing away with the mattifying effect or the mattifying finish. And I'm going to go ahead and use my contour powder. Not going to apply a lot, just going to apply a little. And I'm going to red contour over here. Not too much, just a little. I'm not going to do a lot of contouring and a lot of bronzing. Then I'm going to cut over here. Then I'm going to take my beauty blender just to diffuse the harsh application of the bronzer or the nose contour. 
I believe that this type of makeup application can also fit people that are entering into the fall season or people that are in the cold season. If you are one person that is having a dry skin, this is how your makeup should be looking. Don't be looking for anything that's going to make you mad. And then you guys, when it comes to the blusher, I'm going to use this blush right here. And I'm going to take this brush just to apply a little bit of blush, not too much. And this blush, it is from Yatli and the shade is lovely in the mist blusher. I'm going to use this. I'm just going to highlight. Nothing really much there. Then I'm going to take this highlighter, just going to apply and slightly apply. Then taking a little bit of it. And then you guys, for my inner corner, I'm going to use this eyeshadow, just going to place on my inner corner. Then I'm going to take my elegant pencil and I'm just going to go ahead and apply on my waterline. And you guys, if I was going to use a setting powder, this was going to be the brush that I was going to use as my setting powder brush. But I'm not going to use it because I'm not going to use any setting powder today. I'm going to leave this makeup the way it is. I'm not going to use any setting powder. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara. The mascara that I'm applying from Essence is a Lush Princess Waterproof Mascara. And you guys, I'm going to take Revlon. The shade is in Saudi. I'm going to use the Revlon color stay and the shade is partner in crime. Everything is looking well and from where I'm standing, one thing that is left is for me to apply my setting spray for the very last time, but to ensure that my makeup stays put throughout the day. Alright you guys, this is the final look of this makeup tutorial. I really hope you love it. I hope you will share. Don't forget to press the notification button. Every time I upload, you'll be notified. This is your reality. Sign off.